Oh, right. Um, yeah, I figured I should probably do at least one of these a week, because it's, you know, enjoyable. Although today I do actually have some things to talk about, yeah! And I also have things. Sesame Street Thin Army! And I also have Lem Sip, because despite the fact that I was feeling pretty good over the entire weekend, I wake up today and I'm like, Bleh. I don't understand. Am I like allergic to work or something? It's really stupid. Oh dear. Anyway, I'll start off with a quick Terry's Gone Let update. Should have probably opened up the uh, YouTube page. I also noticed that I lost three subscribers, and I was like, hmm. Again, I keep saying that I don't mind about subscribers. Ooh, what are you doing? Oh, I know what's happening. Hang on a minute. I know what I've done. I'm an idiot. Come here. Where are you? Oh, no, you're completed. Oh. There was a virus scan going on, and I thought it was slowing my computer down. Um, hang on a minute. Where is the messages? Anyway, yeah. Terry's gone lit. I was, uh, there were a few calls for, uh, Hound Doom, I believe, uh, Gwaf wanted it. Oh, Gwafi. Robotnik wanted it. There are a few calls for Volcarona out, and I was like, okay, so I've got a level 50 Hound Hour, because it was in my BST team. And I haven't used my BST team since I bothered to make it. Um, so I was like, hey, I'll just, you know, whatever. I'll just probably evolve it and it'll be fine. And then, Death Knight and Black Steve got the, well, Death Knight just a little while ago got the winning vote. Roserade for Volcarona. So I pretty much spent the last two, three days, well, Friday I got really unnecessarily drunk and just sort of blagged some shit at Cooper, it was kind of weird. For some reason, I, when I'm drunk, I have an extreme obsession with uh, Machine Head. Go figure. Um, so yeah, I sort of did that, and then I spent Saturday sort of going, blah, hangover, blah, and then Sunday I didn't do anything. And like I say, I was going to uh, involve Hound Hour and do that. Um, and then, yeah, now I've got to go breed a Roserade, so might take a little bit longer to get Terry's Gauntlet up than I thought. My bad, I really should have done something over the weekend, but I got lazy. So, there we go, there's that. <coughs> yeah, Robotnik wanted a Hound Doom as well, but there you go. Anonymous Grey, with, 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 as usual, a very thought out and nice, nicely done sort of little thing about why he wants certain things going out, and he eventually went in with Nido King in Scolopede Out. I believe he was, he had the only vote for Nido King. Um, what was that other one? There was one that no one voted for. Galvantula, that was it. So there you go. There's that. Um, the other thing, uh, is... Ah, oh, Artemis Grey again. Ho ho! You're a beast, my son. Um, pointed out, I am in the GBA D League. Uh, didn't go well. I had my first battle against John Origins with this team. Uh, Torn DD Gyarados, of course. Um, AV Toxicroak, because I really like it at the moment. Um, Torn Metal Burst Bastidon, way out of my helmet. Metal Burst, probably the worst idea, but. I kind of figured that the Metal Burst would be good. He had a lot of things that kicked the crap out of Bastidon, so I figured maybe I can kind of get him to do some of that. However, just taunting itself was probably worth more than having Metal Burst, so yeah. Um, CB Mints, which failed to kill a Cress with Crunch. That made me sad. I was very sad indeed. Um, Sludge Bomb, Memento, Wheezing, because he had a Heat Tran. I figured that would do okay, and Scarfed Explode. Um... Yeah, it came down to actually quite a good play in the end. Uh, I don't know if he uploaded his side. I did not record mine because it was sort of like I just had dinner and I was like, blah, let's go do this. So, uh, yeah, but it kind of came down to he made a good play of a Hydreigon and fucked me. But, so yeah, um, despite Cooper making a lot of pushes to try and get me into the GBA, thank you, Mr. Coop, man, um, it's not looking great. It, it could it could be better. I I will endeavor to do my best. <coughs> but um, yeah. The problem is to get into the GBA D League. 
you have to be good at battling. And they were like, you know, Gobs was like, oh, I want YouTubers and stuff. And I'm like, that's great. You know, I'd like to think I'm an okay, funny YouTuber. So maybe my content will help, but it also requires being good at battling. Um, yeah. And it requires sort of having to make new teams up on the fly. It's something that's kind of really out of my element. It's not something I'm really very used to. And it kind of showed. Ugh, this man hasn't explode. Ha! Ah, I do wonder if Suicune can mirror coat that. Uh, my only worry is Honchcrow. There have been a couple of times where I mirror coat something and it would go into a dark and I would just... Oh. I think I mirror coated a Shaman, and it red carded him out into High Dragon, and I just died. I was like, nah. Nah, I don't, I don't want to do it. Nah, not doing that anymore. I'm okay. <laughs> so, there was that. The Mr. Mime is interesting. I'm, is that for Exploud? I guess. I, I don't know. I'm perplexed by this choice. Uh. You don't get Earth power. <coughs> uh, I could actually, looking at that, he could have a Trick Room team. Actually, yeah, look at that, he definitely has a Trick Room team with the Exploud, the Reunion Blob, the Honch Crow, not the Mime. Don't quite know why Mime's there. I suppose we'll probably suss that one out soon enough. Um, I guess just go into... no... Um, I oh, need O King, I guess. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it is. This is going for a sludge wave. Lead Diancy, eh? Oh, it's novel, I suppose. Ow! Oh, yeah, it gets explosion. You're supposed to stealth rock first. This is a problem. He's going to Moxie Boost and fuck me. On the other hand, the nice thing about Diancy this is, yeah, sort off ya crowy bastard, even though I really want to get a fucking honch crow. Anyway, the only other thing I really had to talk about in this, because like I say, it was pretty much, well, the other, no, well, one small little thing going back to YouTube, while I think about it. Um, is it just me getting really shit, or... Um, is YouTube spazzing out? Because looking at my Terry's Gauntlet, I only have 48 views. Maybe I'm just sort of, oh, I don't know. I mean, hell, even like a month ago, I was like, you know, I usually sort of tend to end up with kind of in the vaguest region of like, um, 100 views a video. I'd take that. I'm perfectly happy with that. But, yeah, I was a bit perplexed at that one. Um... <coughs> I don't quite know why he's gone into the mime. Uh, Diamond Storm? He could have Magical Leaf. I outsped him! That's interesting. Oh wait, no, oh, Trick Room, right. Hang on, he's just set up Trick Room and there's no feasible way he can be slower than me. Good job! Can I have a defense boost? No, oh, I didn't need a crit. Um, so yeah, if anyone could tell me, like, I don't know, am I just being crap lately? Um, I'm, I'm per genuinely perplexed by that one. I, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe I am just being shit, and maybe not as many people like Terry's Gauntlet. Thinking about it. Let's go, where's the last showdown? Yeah, the last showdown got 63 views on it. It's just sort of like, I don't know, maybe I am just being crap. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of hope not. I haven't, don't think I've really changed how I do things. Oh, wow. Ha. 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 Your trick room team is defeated by Diancy. Go figure. Yeah, I'd hope you'd fuck off into Cresselia, mate. I'd hope so, quite frankly. Alright, you have no item. That's odd. I wonder why. Um, I'm gonna hold on to Nido King for Death Otter, in case I need to throw something in front of, um, Honch Crow over there. I would have thought that'd be a fairly obvious play, but there you go. Go away. Yay! 
Mental Herb. In my experience, Mental Herb is a fucking awful item. Not especially useful. Now, again, I'm really gonna outspeed you here. He can soccer punch me, yeah, but it doesn't really matter for spit. Oh, he's saying GG. Uh, okay. I, I, I guess he's had enough. To be fair, now that I'm minus one attack, his Reuniblob could pull something out of its gonads. Maybe. Although I do have three soccer punches and an extreme speeder. I'm not too bothered. <laughs> he can do what he likes. Ha! Cool. That's gone well. <coughs> Was not expecting to uh, 6 out that one. Anyway, the last thing is, um, over the weekend, like I say, I pretty much just binged on Persona videos, because Persona 4, Arena, Ultimax, the second Ultra Force, yeah, came out. That one, the second, the second one after Persona 4 Arena, and I don't really like fighting games that much, as I believe I've said before. I'm pretty, pretty cack-handed at them, but I quite like the story. And I was like, "Hey, what's going on with this?" And I swear to God, this is a worrying trend for me, because Tales of Zillia 2, by the way, Red Dragon. If you haven't finished it yet, you may want to. But there seems to be a bit of an odd trend, which is that <coughs> I'm coughing. Very odd trend. No, that's not it. Start again. Um, a lot of these sort of games aren't explaining their own rules. It's one thing that really pissed me off in Persona 4 2, or Arena 2. Like, there are a few occasions where you're waiting for a little bit of, you know, sort of context, the background to what's happening, and then they just sort of hurriedly speed past it. And I wouldn't have that much of a problem, because a lack of context can actually create something quite interesting. But on the other hand, there are some things that they explain to a quite frankly insane degree. It drives me mad. It's just like, you, you, you pile on loads of sort of context and background information to this, and then with this, meh, who cares? It's like, anyway, I need to stay in here because I don't really want to deal with stealth for a rocky fucking helmet. Ow, you dick. Um... Absol isn't especially helpful against anything here, so fuck it. Caution to the wind. I would rather have no stealth Rockos, although his Agron could have it. Mm. So, yeah. Alright, well, fair enough. Um, I kind of want to go into Celebi, because as I know, like Celebi, SD Celebi sweeps everything. It's so fucking good in this game, it's stupid. I love SD Celebi. I want an SD Celebi. I could just go out and change my uh, SR Celebi, but I really like that as well. That, and I don't think I can get Zen Headbutt. That may be a tutor move. I don't know. Yeah, I, th I think it is. Now I look at it. Nothing on his team wants to handle a Suicune. Watch him... Actually, no, there's no feasible way you fucking outspeed me, you fat bastard. Unless you're max speed. <coughs> AV. Hey! That's gone well. Ha! Ah. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Um, nothing really wants to take Diancy either. Jesus. Let's go for a Moonblast. This man has said, really. I understand. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait. I need to remember that I'm times, times four weak to steal. That That is a thing that I need to pay attention to. Um, my only problem, though, is that Agron kind of fucks me a little bit. I don't really want to hang around, but on the other hand, I have nothing to go into apart from a Suicune, and I don't really want to burn the red card just yet. Although, on the other hand, it might actually be a good idea to burn the red card, so that I can Miracote Shaman as opposed to red carding him into something else. Ah, he's gone EQ. Oh, fuck a doodle do. 
Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, there's a lot of crap in Persona 4 Arena, and again, in Tales of Zillia 2, where they just exp like, they'll explain some of it, and then just like, just like, like, I don't know, I guess if you haven't played for Arena, I'm only talking about the Persona 4 side of it, there's like Persona 4 story, Persona 3 story, which is a slightly better approach than what they did in a, the a first Arena, which was like, everyone gets their own story, it's like, this is really fucking confusing! But, there's a bit where like, like, the main villain shows up, and he's like, blah -ha, I'm here now, no one expected it was me! He's like, who are you? And I'm like, aha! I am born out of evil fog monsters! Like, okay... So, how were you born out of evil fog monsters? Is there gonna be any background to why this specific thing happened? You know, where did you come from? How did you get access to half of the shit you've managed to do over the past two games? You know, are we gonna get any context into this? And the game's like, ah, no. And that, that, that just kind of grinds my gears a little bit. There's like, you explain a lot of shit, and then you're like, nah. A lot of shit, nah. <laughs> it's like, for fuck's sake, guys. I'm not asking them to explain everything. Maybe it's just because I'm stupid. I don't know. But, wouldn't hurt. Like, again, there are some massive fucking plot holes. In fact, Final Fantasy 13 fucking fucking free fucking did it as well. Just leaving these ginormous plot holes and thinking, meh, sort itself out. Don't really matter. Yay! No! Dogs are fucking croaking! Let me down this day. You have let me down this day. Fuck's sake. You dithering oaf. The problem I have is that the best thing I have to kill it speed ties with it. Because Tog the Croak couldn't hurt a gonk shot. Tog the Croak. Fucking arsehole. Oh. Um. The only other, well, the main other problem I have is that Agron now gets even more free reign to fuck my face in. Flinch! Oh, you're no fun! On the other hand, this does give me an opportunity to SD, I guess. On the other, other hand, that means I'm going to either Hydreigon or Agron, so I should probably leg it into the coon. Aha! I was right! On the other, other hand, he may. Ah, oh, fuck it, let's go for an ice beam. Dad side. So he's gonna go into Hitmonchan now, so let's go into. Celebi again? No, at uh, plus two, a sucker punch should kill that. All I know is I'm gonna need plus fucking three to kill Agron and Infernape, so, yeah. Oh, the plays! The plays are godly! And in fact, if I get two SDs up, I kill everything on his team. I'm fairly, fairly, f fairly sure of that. Don't have raw, don't have raw. Oh! I see! Take this, foul demon. What? He left? Fire punch? Um, seed bomb. No. No. I don't think so. Um, his ape could have mark punch. I may well be slightly boned here. Sort of needed Celebi a little bit. Live! Damn it! Ah. Uh. Life Orb 2, that's just taking the piss. I have to go into Suicune, basically. He's gonna U-turn out something in that region. Ah! Grass Knot! Mix Ape! Clever bastard. <laughs> I guess Diancy could kind of do it a little bit, depending, but the Shaman's gonna hurt a lot. The shaman's gonna hurt a lot. 
he's just gonna sack it, my gen. And it actually uh, didn't take that especially well when you think about it. Um, should I go really go for a diamond storm? Just, just, just to get a bit. Just maybe I might get a. Ah, uh, I should probably go for stealth rocks now that I think about it. Go on, Diamond Storm! Yay! Defense boost! Oh, you let me down. He has many things that can kill Diancy. Many, 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 many things. <sighs> okay, I don't quite know where you're going with that one, meat. Um, is Diancy a fat bitch? I don't know. I'm gonna go Diamond Storm because I kind of dick what else to do. I suppose the crit would have negated it anyway. Really? He is playing this shit safe! Oh. Well, you tried, Diancy. You tried. Fucking Agron. Was I. Yeah, I was at plus three. And a sucker punch couldn't kill a non defensive Agron. Oh wow, Neo King survived, eh? Not bad, Neo King. Not bad. Not good enough, but not bad. He tried. Oh well. Interesting. I suppose I should just lead with Absol, because it makes sense. Hang on. I don't know. I'll come down when I finish recording. Dinner was being discussed. Oh. I should probably get back on topic with my rant. Yeah. The thing is, though, it's kind of really difficult to explain it, because now that I think about it, like, Final Fantasy 13 fucking 3 fucking, um, Tales of Zillia 2, and Persona 4 Arena 2 are all really confusing games when you actually sort of sit down and think about it. Like, they are mind-bogglingly insane flights of fancy. So, like, I'd really like to say, like, well, you know, they're not providing enough context in certain areas, but I mean, like, maybe they, you know, I'm sure they kind of fought that far ahead, or maybe they're saving it for the sequel. Because I'm assuming there is going to be a Persona 5 arena thing. I'd be kind of disappointed if there wasn't. So. Maybe there's a bit of that, but like I say, your main villain shows up at the end. One, you fight him in, quite frankly, a very poxy way. Like, it's a very disappointing but villain fight. It was pretty poor. Um, but, you know, it's just like, all this crap and then, like, something happens and all this shit happens and it's all really confusing and I'd love to explain it more but it wouldn't make any fucking sense to anyone. I mean, it's just, you just provide a bit of context. Just explain why these things have happened, you know? Uh, I'd also really like to know why Atlas have massive problems hanging on to um, the actors, the voice actors in their series. Oh, you're an overcoat for <laughs> Ah, take that. Nicely done, DNZ. I don't think that's a particularly good idea either, but um, could work. Put up stealth rocks. Could get burn. Diane, you are surprisingly frail. Despite uh, the car bink problem, isn't it? I'd love to go into Toxic Rope, but that just seems really dumb. Although I might actually keep Diancy around. Now oh, let's do a bit of pivot switching. Aha, you clever son. You're like, oh, get him here. He could be an AV slow game, which actually sounds really good when I think about it. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, you couldn't handle the pivot. Couldn't handle the pivot. Oh well. 
yeah, that's just kind of just what I'm really asking for. Maybe if you have played it and you've gone through the story, like maybe it gets explained more in the Persona Three side of it, and I should just stop being a knob and you know quit work and go watch that. But like I say, there was just so many fucking holes left everywhere. Like, more than usual. Like, there's a lot of really hazy grey area in Persona. That's fine. I've no major problems with that. But there's, like, a difference between hazy grey area and there are ginormous chunks of sort of context missing from this entire fucking game. It's like... You, you, you want to have another go? Maybe have a rewrite? Try and explain some of this shit so we're not left with more questions than answers? You fucking halfwits. Part is here. Part is a thing. Um. I don't. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna do a hydro pump. Oh, he's legging it. He's legging it into the Amoongusman. The great thing is, with Zen Headbutt, I could fuck this Amoongus. I could fuck it quite nicely. Um. I suppose the only thing that kind of bones me is maybe Empoleon. Maybe. And Inferno begin, I suppose, when you think about it. Yeah, I think that's a fair assessment. The switch to Celebi is probably painfully obvious, but... I don't know. Not like i got anything else to do. I suppose the other thing is Toxicroak Walls Amoongus, unless it has Hidden Power Fire, I guess. Yeah, made sense. Just go for a Zen Head, but I don't really have much to lose. Apart from my Celebi, I suppose, but... Mm. That's quite impressive, actually. That's not, not bad. The other thing as far as I can remember, is that Empoleons these days like to carry Scald, Stealth Rocks, Defog, and Raw. So I'm gonna go for an SD, aha, uh -huh. nicely done, and then let's see if we can blow him up. Oh, come on! I was so close! That's not fucking fair! That's a dick move and a half, that is. Ooh, now that I think about it, Toxicroak can do some good, uh, <laughs> some good work here, apart from Pert. Maybe he's a physical war then. Hmm. Uh, I guess I just go in the Celebi. I don't know. I'm assuming he'll try the Spore at some point. No, he has Hidden Power Fire. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, there goes the good work Toxicroak could have done. Still, good scouting. Um, Life Orb Nido King, I guess. I'd kind of hope that it would kill an Amoongus, although Amoongus is a particularly arseholeish thing. I don't like you, Amoongus. I really don't. You, you're just a bastard. <laughs> just a mean-spirited fuck. Oh. Nino King is so close. Oh, you let me down. You let me down. Wake up. Wake up. I am going to push for this. Because his Amoongus can't live another hit, so I may as well. I either wake up now, or next turn, turn if he scores me and I should live, or I don't really. But I may as well try and burn as many turns of sleep as I can in case he roars me out. No, he's gonna have the scold. Oh, I don't live! Well, fuck you, Nino King! All in all, what's happened there? You've let me down. You've let me down to quite an embarrassing degree. You should be disappointed in yourself. Um, yeah. Options slowly dwindling. Slowly but surely. Oh, fuck's it, Celebi. If you'd have just killed the fucking Empoleon, we wouldn't have this problem right now. Shit would be great. But no, you had to let me down. 
That's that's what you did, Celebi. I love you dearly, but you let me down. And I'm, I'm just I'm just barely disappointed. Of course that was gonna fucking happen. Uh, the problems with Absol. Is there really any point? I may as well just sell fucking stealth rocks, I guess. Do I really need Dancy? I might be able to kill a Moongus with it. No. Oh, wow! Dancy, you're just fucking awful! You couldn't even live apart here! That's appalling! That's apocalyptically bad and no mistake! I am just disappointed in you right now. Fuck it out. Ah. I'm not gonna kill with an ISP, man, am I? No, don't pivot into it to get more HP, you fucking asshole! See if we can get a cheeky miracle. Hey! Hey! Ah! Didn't do as much as I thought it would. Oh. Sweet coon, why are you so bulky? Hmm. Again, this is what I'm talking about. You need to be good. Ah! Ha ha! Ha oh, no! Oh, that's gone poorly. Ah! Dick. <laughs> yeah, it's not going great. Um, uh, I, uh, yeah. Fuck you, Mega Arrow. You're a prick, I hate you. You are awful! Ah, whatever, he wins with Ape now. Or Pert. Whatever works for you, buddy. Whatever works for you. Oh, it was CB! Oh! Oh! Now it makes sense. That's why Diancy got fucked. Fair enough. Uh, whatever. I guess I'll go play some PU. I can always reliably retreat to that when things go south. Oh, uh, I'll probably do one more game of rambling. Oh, look, a clown pearl. And a Porygon. That's cool. Oh, look, it's a carving. I kind of really hope that they eventually bring out those weird movie carving things. Well, yeah, that'd be cool. Like, three forms of carving. Be different, I guess. Although I don't think it has an amazing attacking move pool. I think it gets play rough. Does it get play rough? I don't know. I can't remember. But... I'm sure it gets stuff. Actually, is that a trick room team? Uh, it's a trick room team. Uh, now it all makes sense. Now I need to be very scared. Although, at least E-Electric is such a fat bastard, I shouldn't have to care too much. And it has Aquatail. Hooray! Aha! Aha! I can see where this is going, don't worry. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh! Here's a better plan. If he's a dual screener, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go fucking do this then. You, you can sit there and set up your screens all you want me. I'm just gonna do... What? You had light clay? With... Oh, well I thought he was going to set up a screen and then I sob and have fun times. Well, I'm not having fun times now. Especially with Porygon Z, or no, not Porygon Z. Oh sweet, oh now I'm having a bit of fun. Well done, Meganium. Oh, no, 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 not bad. Um, things need doing. I don't know what things to do. Oh wait, I have a Rampados. That's good. Yeah, can't break through a fucking max HP, max special defense, AV Rampados. No, you you don't stop that. He stops you, or he should have done, but he failed me. 
So, a meganium crit. Mm, whatever. I guess. I guess. Is the reflect down? Yes, it is. Right. You're gonna have to go for a hit there, Slick. Unless he's gonna try and... Yeah, okay, I see. I see where this is going. Yeah, I fucking thought so. Yeah, little bastard. Ah, oh, oh, now I miss. Ha-ha. Uh -huh. Ha-ha. Uh -huh. Prick. I wonder what his gore guys is gonna do? Um, probably a wisp of some description, so... Let's go into my fat pig thing. Yay. I play this game. And then we'll split him. Surprisingly, Pig Knight is fairly powerful. Yay! Oh, yeah, what a Pig Knight. You. You. Yeah, you. You. Oh, you. Uh, that's gone well. I think I'm probably going to go retreat to the uh, safety of Mandai, though. Ah, uh, this doesn't seem as safe as it was gonna be. Although he could, well, I should probably just defog anyway. To be honest, yeah, I kind of figured he'd do that. Now that is an interesting switch. Does he have hidden power electric solely for Mantines? Because if he does, that man has gonads the size of wrecking balls. He'd probably catch quite a lot of people off guard with that. Aha! Yeah, fuck off. I should live this. Yeah, you see, AV Electrode. AV Electrode is so good. Oh, man. What a beast. Um. My, oh no, he he don't want none of that. AV electrode pushing it too far. Anyway, so there you go. Many things have been posed. I didn't get to go into quite as much detail and rantiness as I wanted to about Persona, but it is becoming a bit of a common trend. I mean, maybe it's just me not noticing it and I'm being a tit, and I've only just started to notice. But it feels like. You know, games tended not to explain things. That's fine. There are some things that work out better when you don't when you leave them unexplained. And I'm down for that. But there is a cutoff point in there. Oh crap, they're all soggy. Uh well, that's a bitch. Yeah, it's been a fucking torrential downpour today. So Yeah. No not great. Give me a minute. You can look at my shirt. Um, yeah, basically, I don't know, it just feels like, to me, more recently, that they're just not trying as hard enough. I really sort of hate that when it's like, let's come up with fantastical plots and then not explain them. The difference is, is that, like, there's, well, there's two ways you can go about it. There's, you can use your crazy fantastical weird time, usually time traveling bullshit as a framing device. And then build the game around that, or build the story around that, or the characters around that. There's the framing device, but then they don't do it like that. They don't just say, here's the rules, let's do shit. You know, they're just like, here's some more rules, and some more rules, and some character stuff, some more rules. Ah, more rules, but we're not going to explain them to you. <laughs> what do you think we are? we got a game to do here, fuck off. That, that's what gets me. That's what annoys me slightly. That's where I have problems. Because, you know, a little bit of extra context could explain a bit more. Because, I'll, I'll put it this way. When evil dude McBuggery showed up at the end of Persona 4 Arena 2, uh, Mill 5, he was like, Oh yeah, I showed up in Weird Fog thing, and it was because... I sh the reason I showed up was because I came from, like, the will to, uh, well, a person's will to only care about themselves. And loads of people were doing that, so I showed up. And I'm like, stop. How did you manage to manifest yourself from the will of the people? That doesn't quite make sense. There's a separate world for that. That's fine. But how did you just randomly show up out of nowhere? 
Two, how do you manage to take on some kind of physical form and also, in, you know, imitate other forms? It's a bit weird. Three, how do you manage to find some random dude and then use that dude and sort of get inside his mind and be like, yeah, destroying the world, great idea. It's just sort of like... Not to mention the dude he finds also has ginormous potholes. Like, it, it's, it's unreal. I legit spent the last, like... Four hours at work going, no, when you think about it, that's really stupid. It, like, it, I don't know. Like, the guy that, um, it turns out to sort of be an accomplice with, it, like, they were like, hey, he's got to be connected to this group somehow because apparently he was a test subject and he was like, blah, I hate being an inhumane test subject. Blah, I'm gonna fuck you all up. And that works to a point, but when you really start to think about it, it's sort of like, he knew and got all kinds of incredibly important evidence really key to the whole plan working. And I'm like, if you're just some random test subject discarded by a douche, how do you suddenly know everything about everything? And where did you get this information? How did you get this information? Why didn't you come forward with the information instead of holding the information and then giving it to a weird blob monster so that you can try and kill the world by turning into a giant blob monster and then a school kid beats him up and then a murderer and the school kid combine forces to shoot a sword laser to blow him up. And I told you this would make no sense if I tried to explain it. Just go watch it. It's not a bad story, it's just... It, when you really get down to the nitty gritty of it, the potholes are like. Pfft. All it would take is just a little bit of time. I me, I don't know, there's a bit of law somewhere. Maybe there is a bit of law. Maybe I'm just not trying. Maybe I'm asking too much for things to be explained to me. I still maintain it's fucking leagues ahead of Final Fantasy XIII 3. That was just taking the piss. It was just like, here's a rule, fuck off. We're gonna say a lot of things at you, and you're gonna understand these things we say because we're final. We're, we're Square Enix. We we do what we want. We don't care about the player. This is our little world. Go away with your questions and your gameplay. Whatever. Hopefully that was ranty enough for you. And I don't know. Discuss. Peace.